Yeah, we were thinking of doing that. $20 ocean front helicopter rides. Ooh, Lamborghini Kutash, look at that. But yeah, I don't want to base my helicopter ride based upon the fact that it's 20 bucks. I want the expensive helicopter ride. I want the dude who's putting a lot of money into maintenance and retraining. I don't want the discount helicopter guy, you know? So maybe next time. Okay, so if you've watched our channel trailer or what our channel is about, one of the things that we love is Americana. And yes, our campground is beautiful, the beach is beautiful, but when in Myrtle Beach, you just gotta kind of catch some of that Myrtle Beach Americana. Exactly. And we've chosen? That. That. Kind of like the Myrtle Beach Eye, like the London Eye. And it, it, they call it a sky wheel. A sky, and one of the reasons we're doing this is if you check out some of these pictures here, we had a great time in Europe a couple years ago and we hit the London Eye. We and, did a champagne tour. Oh, it was great. And um, so yeah, from these pictures here, so we're gonna give this a shot, get some good views, and get some good Americana Myrtle Beach chits. Yeah, All right, let's give it a try. And for those of you that are seriously concerned about these things and obsess over it constantly, we have not exceeded the payload capacity of this vehicle. All right, we are all on the sky wheel, aren't we? Yeah, we are. So it's uh, 14 bucks each. We chose not for the... Uh, the VIP experience, which yeah. has a glass bottom. Yeah. That yeah. might be a little nerve-wracking for some. Yeah, like me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's check out the view here. And that's what we were real. Oh man, did I hit my head. <laughs> Diesel. I don't think they want you standing up. Wow, look at that. You go around four times. See the love truck. I think we're held in place by zip ties. Yikes. So apparently it's not too crowded because they're just kind of letting it go. And I think we're, we're supposed on, to do four revolutions. I think we're on number six. No, we're on number six. <laughs> so either it's stuck and we're going to rotate this way for the foreseeable future, or and I'm trying to speak up because the vent are right on my muff here. Uh, but yeah. We don't mind. We don't mind. Should be fun. Yeah, so after that little ride on the wheel there, we're just kind of taking in the Myrtle Beach boardwalk here. Yeah. Checking things out, Christmas decorations and wearing shorts on the beach, that's kind of cool. Yeah, kind of like Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. And it's off to Murals Inlet. Yeah, for, for lunch. So what are your impressions of Myrtle Beach? I would say that this is the greatest collection of golf cart store and pancake houses in the United States. If you want to buy a golf cart or you want to eat pancakes at a crappy place, this is the place to come to. Or it could be a good place, you it, don't know. Yeah, it could be good, but um, yeah, it's just like golf cart stores and pancake places. And $20 uh, helicopter rides. Yeah, you can do that. So <laughs> there's another one, Omega Pancake. They even have a little Omega sign. That would get me to go there. Yeah. There's, there's a sign for golf carts. Yep, they're everywhere. So interesting. Perfect example. Yep, they're everywhere. Golf carts. All right, we're stopping off for dinner, right? Right, we got some trigger fish and four oysters. Whether they go on the grill or not, we don't know. We might have to try one raw. We'll see how it goes. And they packed it really nice with some ice. Yeah, this is a really nice place. Kind of a local place. Very local. Uh, but they were recommended for very fresh seafood.
Okay, so it is dinner time here and we have a special treat for us tonight because we're here on the Carolina coast and you've got to eat seafood on the Carolina coast. So we've got some oysters and we have some trigger fish. And we've never tried trigger fish before, but this is something that was recommended to us and we it's think it's going to be delicious. It's supposedly a delicacy that uh, it's hard to come by. Right. And so I'm going to shuck some oysters here because I'm a pretty good oyster shucker. You know, each of us has our food, which is like our kryptonite or whatever. Cindy can't eat cauliflower to save her life, and I can't eat anything from the phylum mollusca. And of course, obviously, oysters are from that phylum. Maybe we'll try it tonight. But nevertheless, we have four oysters for Cindy. We're gonna grill those. And we're gonna grill them. So I'm gonna start shucking them. We always carry our oyster knife with us, and you gotta get right in there. Pops right open like that. And then use this part of it to slice the muscle. And of course it's about seven o'clock so it's pitch black here. Right. Oop, you broke the shell. But it looks good. Oh, Just, guy, oh, guy yep. looks good. Now let's try another one here. So we're gonna shell these oysters and then we're gonna put a little uh, marinade that I uh, put together. There you go. There we go. I think when I hitch up tomorrow, my gloves are gonna smell like oyster juice. Yeah, they might. You could always rinse them out. Good number two. Yeah, I think when hitching up tomorrow, we're definitely gonna have some oyster scent on this puppy. Yeah, I think you need to rinse your glove but, off. But hey, we got them up open. Yep, we got them open. And they're gonna get their little, sorry about the shadow. I'm gonna get the um, topping going on them. And the fish is going to go on. So we're gonna add our toppings to our oysters that we're gonna put on the grill. And this, like I said, this was uh, some garlic chopped up, some herbs chopped up, a little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of wine. A little Man, bit of that might even make oysters taste good for me. Garlic butter. I'm, I think I'm putting... Um, I think if this had, had bourbon in it, I definitely would have tried it. I think I'm putting um, sauce on things that don't need sauce, like this thing. Dark. All right, so I think these are ready to go on the grill. All right, let's get them on. And how long are they going to go on for? These are going to go on for about five to six minutes. Okay. And fish going to go on as well. All right, so he's going to put that on. It's gonna go about three to four minutes aside. Oh yeah, leave it open or you think? Uh, I think cover it. Cover it. Okay, and I feel the oysters are starting to get a little wet. Yeah. All right, our timer just gone off. What was it, about three to four minutes? Yeah, four minutes. And it should and they, release easily. They say if it releases easily, it's perfect. Oh, that looks great. That's not looking too bad. What do, you, what do you think for the oysters? Should we leave them on a little bit more? Or? Yeah, we'd leave them on for the rest of the fish. All right, another uh, four minutes. I think we'll be good to go. Well, there you have it. Grilled trigger fish, grilled oysters, and some rice, which Cindy will describe. Right, this is a Asian-inspired rice made with soy sauce and mirin and a little bit of rice vinegar. And we'll see how it pairs. Exactly, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Cindy's gonna try the fish first. It looks like it's cooked perfectly. Oh yeah. They say it's supposed to be very sweet. Mm. Oh that's so good. Is it really good? It's superb. The, uh, the grill made it a little crispy around the edges which is perfect. It's light and flaky. 
so it's, it means it's done to perfection. Nice. So for a lot of people, it's heights, it's spiders, it's all cut. For me, my greatest fear is mollusca. So we're gonna try well, that. That one's pretty new. This one was new somehow. So I'm hoping because it's. <laughs> they probably got on a hot spot. I'm hoping all the organs have been fused into some type of amalgam of sustainable. Th that should just be like a garlic ball. I hope so. Basically. Is it like a garlic salt? Yeah, actually, it's pretty good. My world is upside down. This was really good. How about your mollusca? Oh, I'll have to try it. That was not bad. Mm. The fish is so good. I can get the I get the hint of the lemon that I put in there. It's so that was actually pretty. Pretty darn good. I don't know what's happened to my world. Maybe one. it's just the raw mollusca. Maybe you're gonna eat another one. Really good. That is delicious. So hey, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and click the subscribe if you think we've earned a subscription. And comment below if you've tried trigger fish or anything interesting on the grill because we always love tips. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.